Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahirrahmanirrahim Wa salatu wa salamu ala asrafi amiyah wal mursalin Wa ala li wa sahbihi ajma'in Today I would like to discuss on waqaf Waqaf versus endowment Waqaf is part of estate management Whereby you can have your estate to be placed uh, for the purpose of charity, the purpose of public use, and this is known as walk off. These are some of the background of the discussion this morning. The economy activity is always talking about how to produce, what to produce, and what will be the sources in order for the production to be done and as we know that one of the things about Wakaf it has been things that be the source of fun or the source of capital with some regard and it, it comes in the form of third sector in the economy so because of its importance, nowadays Waka have been given special emphasis. The emphasis on Waka is that it helps to reduce the burden of the government, the burden of the community to raise the source of financing, to raise fund, to raise capital by mobilizing the fund that generated from walk off what we call a walk off fund. The traditional walk off is always come in the form of land building, but the new form of walk off nowadays is known as cash walk off, whereby the majority of Muslim juries of agreement that cash walk off is a is something that is also acceptable and can be one of the source of walk-off fund. As I said earlier, walk-off means that you give your money or your cash or property or your assets and this capital or this amount remains and we can utilize this money or capital or this source of uh, capital of fund we can utilize them and to generate income for example i give a piece of land as walk off and this land can be used for production this land can be used for plantation for example and then we can generate income from that plantation whereby we see that the principal remain and the value of the asset might increase. The wealth might expand or might increase. However, the return from this asset of fund or from this capital can be utilized, can be consumed, can be distributed to anyone or to, uh, to any parties, to the third parties, to any other people, and we can take benefit from this revenues of product from the walk off investment or walk off fund or walk off property that has generated income from it so the beauty of walk off is that the principal remain the principal remains and the benefits or the return can be enjoyed or can be distributed and can be consumed by other parties or by the third parties or by anyone who can be the beneficiaries of the walk off so having this it means that if every muslim through the they call this intention to give their property to sacrifice for the for the public to help the public perhaps to help the economy of other parties walk off is a, an option and the reward of Wakaf is very big. You might have heard about the story of Sayyidina Osman who has bought a well, a well, 
a well from a Jewish trader and the well has been used for irrigation for the palm oil for the uh, for the for this what I call this uh, for these uh, dates uh, dates farms and the well also have been used for the Muslim to consume the water and later on this this we call this the dates plantation have gr have grown and become prosperous because of this walk-off project and later on this fund also been used to build buildings to buy other properties to expand and have enabled from this walk-off by Sina Osman to create fund to provide donation to the poor to provide facilities to provide scholarship and perhaps the latest one has been used to build up several big hotels for the use of Hajj as well as Umrah and this is how this walk off as the third sector of the economy has helped to develop the economy of the Ummah at the time and Sayyidina Osman has passed away a long time ago until now the walk off benefit from the walk off has been realized until today so having this opportunity so Muslims are encouraged to put the, the money uh, to have their estate to be transferred or to be one form of walk off so there are a few things uh, uh, we talk about walk off uh, uh, it's known as the word walk off in Arabic means Walk off I means you hold, you put a stop, a confinement. And this uh, walk off means that you stop from you using it and give it to somebody else to use it. So the word is walk off, derived from Arabic word, Lagatu Arabia, I mean, uh, uh, mean that hold or confinement. They have a lot of istilah been defined by Jumhur, Ashafiyah, and Handabila, Abu Yusuf. Muhammad bin Hassan and few others. I like you to read here the translation of it. For example, uh, given by uh, Hanafiya, by, by uh, Hanbali, all this shows that whereby we can use the walk off fund to create it as a form of rental building, can create it in the form of productive form and we can uh, benefit from the product of this walk -off. The istilah from the, those jurists definition walk -off is probably the given away by the donor either through will, pious, religious or charitable purposes. This property should not be transferred to another person by all means but can be used in order to get any benefit. In other words, Wakaf is property that given away by the donor for the endowment. Allah SWT says in the Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 267, Ya yuhal ladhina amanu infiku min taibati ma kasabtum wa mima akhrajna lakum min al-ard. O ye who believe, give of the good things which ye have honorably earned and of the fruits of the earth which we have produced for you. And also another surah in Ali Imran. By no means shall ye attain righteousness unless ye give freely of what? Of that which ye love. And whether ye give of a truth, Allah knows it well. So, we give something that we love. And we have to be ikhlas because Allah knows the truth. Whatever we have donated or have given from our wealth. Rasulullah has mentioned in uh, in hadith narrated by Bukhari, Imam Al Khattab acquired a piece of land and asked the Prophet how best to use it. Prophet advised him to establish it as waqaf, made the land inalienable, unable to be sold or given away. Again, give its profit away as charity. So this is a very clear guideline whereby 
the land or the property is not going to be sold or given away but it give profit and then the profit realized from the economy activities is is given away as charity so this uh of islam if you look here uh, there's no direct verse of quran but there's a hadith just now and uh, all the ijtima ulama says that uh, this uh, the uruf the benefit of this wakaf can be distributed or can give it, can be, can be given away the owner is known al waqif the wet designated for the endowment is known al mawquf the recipient or the endowment and the beneficiary is known mawquf alay and the legal statement of endowment lafa al sirr al sirr al sirr Lafazah means that you have put a statement on the endowment. So in the Islam, the wakaf can be charity wakaf, or wakaf khair, family wakaf, or children wakaf, wakaf ahli al adhari, wakaf combination, or wakaf al mushtarak. If a charity wakaf is more is is block for charitable entity for a certain period of time, then the wakaf is coming to a certain person of, or person, such an element of a piece of land for hospital or school, to be handed back later to the person and his children. This can be gender, divided into general and special. General wealth that can be used as stated by the donor for any legal activity that benefit the community, special was specified by a giver to be used for specific purposes and for example land for mosques, school cement, cemetery, business centers, house, etc. Our work of Ahli Aw Adhari means it is blocked for himself or certain person and then transferred to a charitable body. It means work of for immediate family members that include children, grandchildren, etc. Example, I know all my wealth to my son and grandson to my entire heritage forever. Wakaf regulation differ in dif uh, differ in different Muslim societies and have also differed in history. So in Ottoman time, there are two types of wakaf property: the private, the muk, and land could be donated to a permanent and an alienable trusteeship. And a wakaf can be wakaf as sahih. It's actually a combination of charity wakaf and family wakaf. Usually under this type of wakaf, the donor was specifically the target beneficiary was specified. The donor was specified the target beneficiary and later assign the benefit for broader welfare purposes. In this case, wakaf combination will take legal condition from the wakaf family and wakaf children. So, the other, the other form of, uh, I call this uh, endowment, is uh is in the western view they have also the kind of uh, charitable activity they call is endowment and it is always kind of the form of giving money or property to institution for a particular purpose and the fund often by gifts or bequests from a dead person estate for the maintenance of public institution particularly college university or scholarship all the property of fund that be given by the donor can be used according to the decision made by the board members. There's not there's no specific sources that govern the endowment management. Besides that, all the endowment properties can be transferred by all means. So in Islam, in the same Wakaf we to as the Sadaqatun Jariyah. In the Prophet period we have uh, the Masjid Quba, Masjid Nambawi water borders, horses. In the Khalifah period, we have the Khaiba land during Sayyidina Omar, uh, Waqaf al Ayubi and Amal Malik in Palestine and Egypt, a Waqaf of Khalifah Osmania, and Waqaf in the 20th century, we have a few Waqaf uh, in a few countries like Lebanon, Jordan, Syria, Sudan, Qatar, and Malaysia. So major social objectives. England, in 1066, land became the property of the king, the tenancy alienation of land by ordinary tenants was limited by the claimant claims of widow overload. In contemporary endowment is acting as important economic for management of properties in the Western view. 
differences. Waka properties are dedicated to Allah and the waqif of the, the dedicator does not retain any title of the waka properties. Number two, the power of mutawali, manager of the waka property, are very limited as compared to the power of a trustee. Number three, the consist of waka mainly for religious, pious, or charity in Islam. Number four, the manager of waka cannot serve any benefit for himself, but the manager of a trust may himself be a beneficiary. Number five, waka is generally perpetual and irrevocable, whereas a trust need not be perpetual and may also be revoked under certain condition. So these are the differences between Waqaf and endowment. So if you look carefully, Waqaf is the best system in managing any given property fund to build up uh, property or fund to build up the nation. But the lack of knowledge, attitude in many Waqaf property funds has made Waqaf look not so good. So there is a need for the entire Waqaf managers to improve knowledge and better understanding in managing Waqaf property or fund. With that, I think we end our discussion. Inshallah, you have the wealth on your property. Please be generous to, for, to put as a walk off, and this will benefit the Ummah for the entire life of the Ummah and will benefit you for in this world and hereafter. Uh, before I end up, uh, this slide I've taken it from the presentation of Ustad Alias who is now doing his PhD under my supervision. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.